Well, one thing, and I just had a discussion about a month ago with an architect, we were developing a really, really big house, about 30,000 square feet home, and this architect was very enamored of the fact that he can orient the house and change the wall and do all these very extravagant things. And then the client said, but I want you to work with her. It's like she, um, I want you to work with the feng shui consultant and you know, you have to follow the direction because I really believe in this. And so the architect all of a sudden felt like, gee, what's she gonna tell me? And all I told him was really, the she inside the building needs to move smoothly because the air carries the chi. So if there is a gentle flow inside the building, from room to room, a very harmonious gentle flow, that will ensure that the chi moves everywhere and the building is very energized. And um, you know, it's a little bit hard when you like to do 45 degrees angle and very sharp and pointing um, rooms or off angle walls, but maybe it's a little bit more traditional way of thinking of architecture but for contemporary and modern design, that works really well because modern design was all about really simplicity and had room really flowing smoothly. The only pitfall maybe in modern design was that we love to align doors and windows. And so that created a lot of a wind draft. And, uh, and that would push the chip too fast. But if they are just slightly off, in an harmonious way, of course, we don't want anything to look really weird, a little bit um, off the way that would allow for the chi to move in the room, and this is the way it would work. Okay, so we got the room. So we'll say, say this is the living room, and uh, this there's a passage that goes into say I don't know your library, and this is your foyer. These are your windows, and you're looking out, okay? So, because this is the main door, probably we start from here, so the chi would be attracted from this opening. See, the chi is a little bit like a person. When they say an opening, they think it's, you know, they just can go through. So, they walk through, and she comes through, and then it sees all these other openings, and they start moving in this direction. And as you can see, it creates a very, very straight pattern. And then there will be also going this way, the light coming in from the window. So if you're trying to set up this room and make it comfortable, it might be a little bit tricky. Because actually, the position where the chin is going to be is going to be in the corner where you're going to add movement. So it's going to gather in these corners. And this little star that I'm drawing there, the chi gathering. Okay, so if you are creating a sitting area in the middle there, it might be really beautiful and very stunning, but also it might be more appropriate for a representative room. If it's a family room and you want to sit there and watch TV for a long time, this might not be the most comfortable place. Unless maybe you can close the doors to gather the chin, because in the moment that you close one of these openings, then you break, you break the path. So you don't have this anymore, and you don't have this anymore. So you're closing this one off, and now the chi gathers all the way here also. So just to give you an idea how the chi works in the room, how the dynamic is in the room, um, when we talk about also the living areas, the day areas, that we call it in Italian, the zone giorno. Um, in the entrance, we always want to have a little bit of a foyer. Even if we live in a small apartment, we really always want to have a little bit of a, of a space in the entrance where the chicken gathers. You know, you step in and you open the door and the chi gathers and then from there it moves into the other area. So no matter how big or small your house is, you really want to be mindful of having a little space like that in the entrance. And then from there you would flow into the living room or into the library or into the studies. And also you want to have again this feeling of a chi flowing smoothly. If you walk in and you see right away, and this is very popular unfortunately, but if you see right away in front of you, big windows opening up to the view can be very stunning the first time that people walk into your home they're very impressed 
But if you're living in the home and you always have this chi moving so fast between the openings that does not allow to move into the other rooms, this, this house can become very depleted. In other words, the chi enters and leaves right away. Sometimes you also have the views, you know, with a little bit of a drop, and also that one is, it creates a problem for that reason. So ideally, you want to you wanna be able to go from your foyer into a beautiful living room or in a beautiful study, and then have areas where you can gather, where you feel comfortable sitting down and gather there. And you know, sometimes you buy homes that are already designed, that have a lot of opening. So think about moving, you know, using um, the sliding doors to be able to separate the chin, to separate the ambience. Um, oh, one of the things is, do you see the space here? Well, now we don't see it because there are so many of us, but you know, the space is really open and really allow for the chi to flow through. When we design our homes, we really need to think about it in the same terms because we do need... Would you be so kind to turn the cell phone off, please? Thank you. Um, so, you really want to move through the space and have this sense that the chi is circulating. Sometimes, I know, we love, we go into stores and we find this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful over upholstered furniture and they look so good in the space and then we take them home and our room is so much smaller. So all of a sudden you have this gigantic furniture filling up the room and you cannot even breathe. Um, you know, I cannot tell you how many people call me and say, something wrong with my house, I don't know what it is. And you go there and they have a, a, a floor plan that indicates the measurements of the furniture and all of a sudden they fall in love with these gigantic pieces and they try to cram it into the house and they think it's a functional problem. And unfortunately there is nothing I can tell them but you know we should change that piece of furniture we, we should choose something different. So feel you know as you walk around after the lecture and you get the feeling of the space you would see um, that the full part of the space and the empty part of the space is almost like the yin and yang. They have to be in balance. But the more full space you have, the less the chi is circulating. So in reality, you, that becomes almost like a dead space. So in reality, you really want to have more open spaces than full spaces in your homes. I think probably one-third to one-fourth ratio would be, would be good. Because um, you would notice and pay attention maybe as you go in homes of your friends or maybe your own homes, but Homes are different from yours. Start noticing these things. If there is too much stuff in the room, you will feel very claustrophobic. And if, instead, if there is much more open space, then you feel very comfortable. You want to hang out there. Um, also, I notice highly creative people. I work with a number of creative people here in Los Angeles. They really love open space and empty space. I don't like staring at the wall. Is the new thing. They get their creativity going much faster. And I think it's because it allows the chi to gather a lot better.